Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, it's time for another discussion, rant, whatever you want to call this type of video. But this one is a little more positive. I'm having fun playing my team again. That is the kind of core concept of what made me want to make this video. And I want to share why I think I'm having fun, what I think y'all can do to also have fun, and also what I think you should do if you're not having fun. All three of those things I think are pretty useful um, ideas that I just kind of want to talk about. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. And I'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So first thing, I'm kind of like enjoying the actual gameplay. And I will say that is because of the card progression. I think getting new cards that can actually score the ball. Guys like... Devin Booker and Kobe and Adam Morrison and Chet and Kwame Brown and Wimby and just a lot of different good cards that are options that can actually put the ball in the hole, especially for me, it's D-Book, Kobe and Adam Morrison. Those are the three guys that are just, I'm having a blast with those three cards right now. And I think my team gameplay is for me fun again, because I, number one, accepted, I will be honest, a few couple weeks ago, I basically just accepted I wasn't that good at the game and decided to start playing me more and suck it up and try to get better. I'm not sitting here and saying I'm the best, but I've gotten a lot better in the last couple weeks and I'm certainly having more fun. So that is something I will touch on more later. But I also think the gameplay has improved a little bit. I think the cards are good enough now where sitting in the corner and off balling while still effective is not quite as effective. It's a little bit easier to be and uh, I think if you are intentional and are able to maintain your composure you will find that you are able to have more and more success and I'm just having more enjoyment and more success playing online which makes the game more fun plus I'm able to three hunt way more Kobe Adam Morrison D-Book those three guys just give me incredible three hunting ability that I really haven't had for the majority of this year that is the play style that I enjoy in this game and the fact that I am now able to play my type of play style at a higher level and have more fun with it is is encouraging and fun because I think the gameplay was really, really gross in season two and even toward the beginning of season three in a lot of ways. And I feel like it has improved as of late, but also I've improved at the game as of late. So that has probably helped as well. Not only that though, I think we are currently right now in the best spot in terms of no money spent, like level of content that we've gotten a long time. Chet was the best free card we've gotten all year. The level 40 Jimmy is still very good. There's tons of affordable, really good cards at each position, budget cards, mid-tier cards, top tier cards, grindable options pretty much across the board. My boy EFX started playing my team for real just a couple weeks ago and pretty has like an elite squad, no money spent. You can build a really, really good team without locking anything Thing in there are legit scores such as a guy like dbook that you can get that can run your offense at an elite level and give you that scoring ability that you don't have to lock in it's 180k that's a very reasonable price to play, pay for a primary ball handler yes kobe is expensive yes adam morrison is expensive but you don't need those cards to have success i mean i see people complain about adam morrison already because he does have flaws and i'm okay with that he's still very fun to use the card has made it fun for me i think there's versatility across the board lots of free options like chet but lots of other great free cards as well lots of buyable budget cards that are very usable yes i have one of the best lineups in the game i'm also a content creator i spend more money on this game than i would recommend that the majority of people do um and i think that transitions me into my next point which is if you're not having fun it leaves you with a decision that you have to make about this game because i know there are a lot of people still out there not having fun for variety of reasons. Maybe you're not having fun because your team isn't good enough and because you don't feel like you can catch up without spending money. Maybe you're not having fun because you're not enjoying the gameplay and maybe you're not having fun for a combination of reasons. I don't know what those reasons may be, but if you are not having fun, you have a choice. You can either do something to try to address the thing that you're not having fun about, or you can take a break. I barely played this game for almost all of season two, really the, the like last four weeks of season two and the first three weeks of this season, I barely played the game. I've only started playing the game the last like two weeks at all, really outside of the videos that I'm making. Obviously I was playing the game for my videos, but that was it, especially recently. I mean, I wasn't even playing for my unlimited ring the last few weeks, but I'm finally getting back into playing. I took a break and now I've come back and I'm reinvigorated and I've put a little more effort into getting better at the game and having fun. So if you're not having fun because the gameplay is bad, two things, take a break. It's okay. Come back later. Another option, get better at the game. There are ways to get better at the game. Learn how to dribble better. Learn how to shoot better. Learn your player's fade timings. Learn how to run offense. Learn how to be a better player in my team in whatever form that may take. But your weakness is get better at them. Learn how to get better at the game and you'll have more fun online because winning is fun. That is also an option. 
But taking a break is also an option. For all the people I see complaining all the time, if you are not having fun, don't play. That's okay. I am far from a 2K show, by the way. I know the comments are coming because I'm actually being positive about my team for once. I have uploaded so much negativity towards my team already this year. I just try to be unbiased. And right now, I personally, my opinion, am having fun. And I'm thinking that the content for both people are spending money and the no money spent player is the best it's been all year. I think my team is finally getting to the point where it's in a really good state again. And it hasn't been in that since season one. So it's really encouraging to see this. And even though the next week is going to be pretty barren for content, I'm hoping this continues into season four because it certainly has been a revival of sorts for the mode over the past couple weeks. And I'm really hoping to see that continue. And I hope that y'all are able to also find a way to have fun in the game. And again, if you're not having fun, seriously, just take a break. It's okay. You don't have to play the game. Go play another game. Don't play video games. Go exercise. Go do something with your family. Like go work be productive there are lots of other things you can do in life besides my team if this game is actually hurting your mental health which it does to some people sometimes it's okay to take a break like i don't know it is at the end of the day it's a video game and 99 percent of the people playing this game are playing it for fun as a hobby at the end of the day if you're not having fun it is okay to take a break and then if you are having fun it is also okay to have fun people are allowed to have their own opinions uh i just think as a community we can do a better job of handling the way that we feel sometimes uh, and I think honestly for me personally, I'm having fun again. So I do want to give 2k props on that because really that is the core of this video. The fact of the matter is I am for the first time in, I mean, two months enjoying playing this game. I, I feel like loading it up, loading into unlimited is going to be like, I'm going to stream tonight or yeah, I'm recording this video Friday night uh, or Friday afternoon. I'm going to stream Friday night. Uh, so y'all stream will be over obviously when y'all see this video on Saturday, but I'm, I haven't streamed back to back days and months and I'm about to stream back to back days. Like I'm having fun playing this game again. And that is a encouraging place to be in as a content creator. Um, so I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts. And I'd love to hear where y'all are on the state of my team as we head towards season four. And I am crossing my fingers and praying that season four doesn't let us down. Give us more great grindable free content because that is the core of everybody having a good experience. When they feel like there's something to play for, the rest of it is fun. And that is the good part. And if, I mean, I'm getting better at the gameplay and that is helping as well. So I encourage if you're not having fun. If you, if you want to keep playing, just, just practice and try to get better because the better you get, the more fun you will have. With that being said, I think I am going to call the video there. Again, I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts, so feel free to leave a comment down below and give me or let me know what y'all are thinking. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.